Good afternoon, brethren. Reading to you from the authorized version of the scriptures, Ephesians 5, 22 and 33. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. And he is the Savior with seven letters of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in something. In says everything. Says right there. Says in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. And church is not talking about the Roman Catholic church buildings that all the Christians went and met in today and bowed down to Baal. No, 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 no. No. The body. The people. Not the building. Okay? All right, so, so you see? <laughs> Wave. Okay. Anyway, let's continue. <clears throat> that, okay. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. And we've talked about this, the one flesh thing in the marriage video which will be in the description box when I get back and uh, upload this, okay? For no man ever hated his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth it, even as the Lord the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones, okay? He cannot deny himself. You tie that in with 2 Timothy chapter 2, okay? Get some sunlight here. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. We talked about that in the marriage video, which will be in the description box for you, okay? This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church, okay? Nevertheless, let every, nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife, even as himself, and the wife see that she reverence reverence her husband okay remember their sisters women okay love you sisters uh you were created for man you were created for um for adam okay not the other way around so a lot of you really don't uh oh you uh, you and your annoying motorcycles you know what God, God bless your heart and soul. You like to ride a motorcycle. Good for you. I personally don't like having anything uh, between me and the ground but imagination. Okay. Anyway, now, 1 first P- uh, Peter 3, verses 1 on verse 7. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives. Well, they behold your chaste, chaste conversation coupled with fear. And remember, chaste conversation there, conversation includes more than your verbal words, but it also involves your body language and stuff like that. Okay, you got it? All right. (coughs) Got it, bug. Yes. Well, they behold your chaste conversation coupled with fear, verse 3, whose adorning let it not be the, that outward adorning of plating of hair and of wearing of gold or putting on of apparel, but let it be the hidden man of the heart, and that is both ways. There's a, there's a verse, I believe it's in Ephesians, uh, where Paul talks about the hidden man, okay? Uh, the hidden man of the heart is the Lord Jesus Christ. Ought to be the hidden man of the heart. Okay, ought to be Jesus Christ, okay? But let it be the hidden man of the heart in that which is not corruptible. Okay? Proof right there is talking about the Lord. Even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God of great price. For after this manner in the old time, 
The holy women also who trusted in God adorned themselves being in subjection unto their own husbands, even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters ye are as well as long as ye do well and are not afraid with any amazement. Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel. There are women out there who are very strong. There are women out there who know submission holds. Uh, any fool can use a knife. Not rightly, yeah, I'll give you that. Uh, anybody can use a weapon, okay? It's the ones who don't know how to use a weapon uh, that are the more dangerous, okay? But the woman, sisters, ladies, I don't care if you can club me over the head with your own fist or put me in a rear naked choke. I know how to get out of those. But uh, I, it doesn't matter. You are the weaker vessel, okay? Going to have to deal with that. Yes, likewise ye husbands dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Okay? Bear with me. Doing this one-handed. Doing this kind of on the fly here. Okay? All right. The, the set of scriptures that I forgot on my... Uh, uh, journey to Shelbina. <laughs> anyway, now we all know the common consensus is that, well, it ought to be. Um, let me put it to you straight once again. If you call yourself a man, yeah, you're a man, and you decide to smack your woman because she, because you're angry or because she didn't make your hash browns right, you come home from work or something, and then you, you decide to boot fluffy across the room and then take it out on your wife. Uh, <clears throat> here you are. Okay, you ain't no man. You ain't no man, and I'll tell you what. I sure as Hades have zero respect for you as a person, spirit, soul, and body. Uh, you, 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 uh, you're, you're scum, you do that. Yeah, you're a scum if you do that, okay? You ain't no man. You're a little boy. You're a little baby boy, okay? All right? Now, remember, women, if you decide to, ta uh, to attack your husband with, say, a meat cleaver or a baseball bat, uh, that, that's a little different kind of a perspective there, okay? Um, any woman willing to take into her own hands a weapon and to attack her husband and the husband to defend himself uh, smacks you across the mouth um, okay <laughs> okay all right then let, let's be adults here let's be real here for a change huh yeah come on when we're uh, addressing this topic all right now, there are also other things to keep in mind. Let's say, hypothetically, and this is across the board for saints and for you lost people as well, okay? This is a twofold kind of thing that we're discussing here. What are you doing? Sorry about that. Let's say you're, you're a man, so-called, and um, you're at home and you're watching porn or some stupid thing like that. And your wife comes in and catches you doing that. And in a fit of temper, your wife decides to smack you in the mouth for it. Good. Good. Amen. Amen. What are you doing looking at that filth anyway? You know that's someone's daughter? That's someone's son? What if it was your son or daughter, huh? Okay. Anyway, something like that. You deserve it. <laughs> and remember, we're always doing better than we deserve, saints. But, uh, you know, something like that. And that, that's a good woman, too, by the way. You know, a woman comes in, sees you looking at that kind of filth, and then she decides to smack you upside your head. Good for her. Good for her. What were you doing? Huh? What were you doing? All right? I don't justify a man striking a woman. If a woman going to come at a man with a baseball bat, a meat cleaver... Uh, to defend himself, uh, that's a different story, like I said. A woman catches her husband looking at something he shouldn't, and she gets mad and smacks him. Good for her. Good for her. Use man, take your lickings, boy. 
and just sit there, okay? All right? All right? And I know, uh, some women can really punch hard, okay? I know, all right? But nonetheless, you know, there are some men out there, it's like, well, if you punch me, uh, I'm gonna, I get the, uh, what, you've never been punched before? Hmm? Well, you can't take a punch? Well, yeah, seriously, seriously. Well, you can't take a punch, huh? <laughs> now, there, now, let me get, let's, there are certain men out there who are frail and have infirmities where if you were to punch, I, 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 you, you all should know what I'm saying. Come on, let's be grown-ups here, okay? All right? And another thing, too, about any who decide to use violence against their spouse uh, with the men that I have discussed this with who have freely admitted to me and talked to me about this um, one of the things that the abusive individual will do will do the the woman thou gavest me to be with she did give me of the tree and I did eat okay uh, justifying well she was asking for it oh well she got up in my face oh you don't know if you gone through what I've oh you shut up and go to hell you give me a break. What kind of man are you, huh? Yeah. <coughs> well, hey, Brad, you know, she, she did pull out a chef knife and wanted to eviscerate me. Oh, okay, that, okay, okay, dude, that, that's a little different. That's a little different. Those hurt, <laughs> okay? That's a little different, all right? It's just like, okay. But the, and I've talked with uh, men, so-called, um, who have done the smacking of their wife, or in a lot of cases, as I have talked with, their girlfriends, okay? And I have talked to some saints who, at, when they were lost, had done those atrocities onto their wives. And funny... Whence the Lord saves man and delivers that man out of that. I have not talked to one saint that I am aware of who has reverted back as a saved man to slapping their spouse. I haven't, I haven't met one yet. No excuse. But now... Here's the twist thing about this. See, we always, in the context of the man hitting the woman every single time, every single, amen, it's like, amen, you know, man shouldn't do that. Unless, like I said, the woman's coming at him with a baseball bat or a shotgun or, or, a, or a butcher knife or whatever. That, okay, that's a little different scenario. What happens when you have the woman going at the man? Hmm? Now, see, we're trained, and I can see the idiots that uh, uh, gravitate around uh, dumbbells like uh, praise that he isn't having this kind of mentality. It's like, well, oh, you, you let your wife hit you, or oh, you're not a... Hmm. And see, what happens also, too, if you're married to a woman who knows that you have at least the integrity to not strike back unless of course like i said for the obvious you know you know sisters women you, you go at your man with a, a weapon that could kill him um and you get hit don't don't be crying i mean don't be going to the police or any i mean get it whatever whatever but you know what i'm saying it's like you went at your man because for whatever reason whatever reason you decided and you wanted to try to eviscerate him with a kitchen spoon or something and in his defense he struck you um i'm sorry uh, that's i'm sorry you know we have the right to defend ourselves and see these these kinds of people well you're not a man you you can't do that, that, that. it's like dude dude I've known of women who have taken advantage of that. What happens when the woman is the one who decides to take it into her hands and to abuse physically the husband, huh? What happens then? And because they are the weaker vessel, 
does that oblige them with a pass to do so? Now, in the context of Scripture that we looked at, okay, does okay, you know, love your wife as your own self, you know, and the wife see that she reverence her husband. Question comes. It's not okay for a man to strike a woman. Amen. But is it okay for a woman to strike a man? For any infraction? Because she had a bad day? Uh, why is she at work, number one? Uh, she has a bad day at work and comes home and, and decides to boot fluffy herself, which normally they don't do, but decides to take it out on you and throws the uh, hair dryer at you and uh, tries to inundate you with plates and gets violent and physical with you. Is that okay? Hmm? I, I'd, I'd, I'd like to put this question to some of these, um, <laughs> and I'm going to use some uh, stern language here, some of these libtard woke idiots. I would love to put this question to them. It's like, okay, okay, it's wrong for a man to strike a woman. Amen. But it's okay for a woman to strike a man in any infraction? Give me a break, dude. Give me a break. The woman is supposed to reverence her husband, and the husband is to love the woman as his own self. My wife is my own flesh. Okay, the two are one flesh. I didn't do it, Brother Alexander, by the way. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So what happens? What, is it okay? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. A meek and quiet spirit for a woman who is supposed to reverence her husband. It is not okay for the woman to do as the man would do in striking him or vice versa. It's, it's when violence is involved. And, and I got to mention this too. In reality... Um, if little things are done in a playful manner, because that's what floats your boats, <laughs> uh, we should talk about that sometime, but, uh, you know, okay, if that's what you two like to do, and it's consensual, okay, you, come on, but in reality, people, in reality, it's not okay. It is not okay. It's not okay for a man to strike a woman, but there again, it's not okay for a woman to strike a man. Now, like I said, like I said, you know, if a woman comes in and sees her husband looking at porn and she gets mad and slaps him, is that in and of itself okay? No. But if she doesn't, be like, hey, there you go. Okay, you deserve that. Why are you looking at that filth anyway? Okay, but does that make it okay for her to do that to you? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Uh, that, that's a woman who's willing to, you know, be what she needs to be for her man. You could argue that, like I did at the beginning of this. But in reality, see, uh, accor according to this, that's not okay. That's not okay. Our wives are ourselves. Okay? And women, you got to remember, we are also of you. Okay, the twain in one flesh goes both ways, people. So, um, yeah, yeah, it's not okay. And I'm telling you, when that is present in any relationship of any sort like that, and I'm, I'm saying it like that for you lost people, um, that, that's unacceptable. On either side. Okay? Violence is a last resort to anything. But violence as a resort in the context of marriage because one is upset at the other for some infraction, um, it's not okay. It's not okay. Like I've said, I've known women who have taken full advantage of that because they know that their husbands or their boyfriends will do nothing of the sort to them. That they will stand there and take a pop in the face. Like I said, what, you've never been punched before. Okay? But like I said, you, you get a weaponry involved, you know. I, I'd say it, you know, if my wife came at me with a, a kitchen knife, I'd be like, woman, you need to put that down. If you don't, 
I'm going to be forced to disarm you. <laughs> you know, um, and that, like I said, that's a legitimate circumstance both ways. You know, sisters, if your husband, for whatever reason, uh, takes up a billy club and is going to go at you, you have every right to defend yourself. You really do. Okay, don't fall for these, uh, especially they seem to come from Catholicism, go figure, who will uh, tell you, like, if your husband's, uh, you know, don't fight back. <laughs> Figures, yeah, that would come from someone who's a Catholic. But uh, it's not okay. It's not okay to do that. Okay, just, just keep that in mind. And those of you, and those of you who do, and justify yourselves. She was kind. She was in my face. You know, she'd been nagging me. Walk away, little boy. Put some distance. Well, I'm not leaving you. Uh, you know, sounding like a lost man, dude, huh? Because you know who makes excuses? Lost people. They're the ones that make excuses. You strike a woman and justify yourself for doing it. <laughs> There you go, pal. There you go, pal. Sisters. You take advantage of the situation that you got a man who's not going to harm you physically. You got a man who's um, trying his best to be a man. And you take advantage of that. And try to exert your uh, feminazi dominance. <laughs> You understand what I'm saying, of course. See you in the next video.